In this video, we're going to talk about Sundial Growers. If you're considering buying Sundial Growers shares in your portfolio, then please keep watching this video until the end, because it will cover many of the factors that should be considered regarding buying, holding, or selling the shares. During the most recent trading session, the stock opened at 92.44 cents and closed at 90 cents. The lowest point at which it fell to was 92 cents, and highest point it rose to was 89 cents. The lowest point at which it fell to was 89 cents, and highest point it rose to was 92 cents. Compared to the current price action, its 52 week low was 89.1 cents and the 52-week high was $3.96. The current trading volume of Sundial Growers is 85.9 million shares, compared to an average volume of 210.2 million shares. The stock is currently trading at a relatively low volume compared to the average, and this is a sign of trading in summertime, and the fact that not much significant is going on with Sundial at the moment. The market is currently itching upward, but the recovery has been pulled back since June 24th, which is likely a result of buyers taking in profits. Let's take a look at the difference between the company's market cap and the enterprise value. Basically, the market cap is the sum of the price of all shares publicly traded, and the enterprise value is the value of the company when the debts are paid. We can see that the market cap of the company is $1.7 billion, while the enterprise value is $805.5 million. The difference between the market cap and the enterprise of Sundal value. The difference between the market cap and enterprise value of Sundal growers shows that the market is currently paying almost double of the company's value, Meaning that somewhere in the future, they expect this company to double its size, and probably even much beyond. This is an optimistic but realistic view on things, considering the regulatory forces in the sector playing in its favor, as well as historically low stock price of the company compared to where it has been in the past. Now, let's talk about the number of shares the company currently has and the shareholder composition as of the latest data. The total number of shares outstanding is $1.9 billion. Amongst the total float, insiders hold 0.6% of them. The percentage of shares owned by institutional investors total 4.9% of the total equity outstanding. There are 253 million shares that have been shorted, representing 13.65% of the shares traded. The equity composition of Sundal shows that the company is under the effect of what we call a meme stock, mostly in the hands of retail investors who bought it on the basis of the hype, and also because now that the company is in the penny stock territories, its volatility in the percentage has the capacity to yield large amounts of gains and losses very rapidly, depending on your luck. There are a few institutional investors buying Sundown, even less as far as the officers are concerned. So this is a worrying sign in my opinion, but it has been like this for some time, so let's hope that it'll improve in the future. The long-term price action shows that the price action of Sundown could be much more compared to where it is now. And while it doesn't guarantee that it, this will happen anytime soon, it certainly looks promising in terms of statistics. After all, there's not much more the stock can fall against, and any sort of little sparkle can push it higher. My recommendation for Sundal is to keep a small position of it and to consider buying more in the current price point, because it is on the support line. The last element to consider would be the overall market sentiment in the financial market. The current reality is that investors and money managers are not willing to blindly follow companies like they did in 2020. There are reasons why investors are now shying away from innovative and disruptive stocks. They may be overpriced or overbought, or just selling dreams instead of having good financials, but the real answer is probably because 
people began to lock in their profits, which created a torrent of sell-offs and a significant crash in the market overall from February to nowadays. The overall tendency at the moment is that low stocks are now bottoming out, but investors are generally speaking more skeptical and only companies that have robust financials or ideas may survive. As we currently speak, Sundown falls somewhere in between the two of those. This is why it's both in the penny stock territories, but also at the same time very popular with a certain strata of the financial market. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.